Collins. My name is Possible, and I'll be your teacher for today. In our previous lecture, we look at how to deduce a demand function and get coordinates so that we can use the coordinates to plot our demand curve. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now today, we are going to look at factors affecting demand. Now factors affecting demand, we have a lot of factors. We have weather and season, taste and preferences. We have a lot of factors. But today I'm going to tackle only two disturbing factors. I hope it makes sense. The rest, go and search for them because they are not all that disturbing. I hope it makes sense. So the disturbing ones are what I'm coming to tackle today. And number one is prices of other related commodity. Prices of other related commodity. And the second one is income of consumers. Income of consumers. So one is prices of other related other related my marker is disturbing of other related yes commodities prices of other related commodities now if I talk about prices of other related commodities don't be confused why are you not to be confused this is because in our previous lectures we were just looking at the own price oh price the price of the commodity in question i hope it makes sense but this time when we are saying that no we are not going to look at the price of the commodity in question but we are going to look at other commodities price the effect that other commodities prices have on our commodity i hope it makes sense assuming that our commodity is reachable right assuming that our commodity is reachable this time around it means that we are not going to look at the price of reachable the price of reachable is the own price but what i'm trying to communicate is that this time around, we are going to look at the impact or the influence of the price of mineral on our price on our commodity i hope it makes sense so when you say prices of other related commodities we are talking about how other commodities prices can influence the demand for our commodity and that is what is term as prices of other related commodities it is not any other commodity but it is other related Related means we are sharing the same market with that commodity. We are competing on the same market. I hope it makes sense. We provide the same product or similar products. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So we are saying that prices of other related commodity also can influence the demand for our commodity. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now assuming that we are board of directors for Richoku, we are the board of directors for Richoku. I hope it makes sense. And now, speculative wise, we have gotten an information that Ghana Nestle Company, that is Milo, they are about increasing their price. Milo, Nestle Ghana are about increasing the, the price of Milo. Now, the first thing that we, the board of directors of Richoku, we have to do is that we have to sit down and analyze the impact that the increment that is about to happen or the pending increment in the price of milo will have on our commodity i hope it makes sense so when we sit down we will analyze it and we ask ourselves a lot of questions that are so when Ghana, when nestle Ghana um, increases the price of milo uh, co are, are consumers going to leave our commodity and go consume the milo or the some portion or proportion of their consumers are going to leave their commodity and come and patronize our own i hope it makes sense so as a board of director or as board of directors we have to sit down and analyze all these things and the managerial economics you do all these things but over here you should be able to understand it up to this point i 
hope it makes sense. Now we are saying that when they increase their price, it's either the quantity demanded of our commodity comes down, or when they increase their price, our quantity, the quantity demanded of our commodity goes up. I hope it makes sense. Good. So I have explained it in deep of incarnation. This time round, we are going to the board, and when we get there, we are going to we are going to deduce the technical aspects into some um, figures or some some letters. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So we are saying that when Nestle, if the price of Milo goes up, if the price of Milo goes up. And the quantity demanded of our commodity, Richoku, if the price of Milo goes up, and the quantity demanded of our commodity, which is Richoku, comes down, it means something. Also, if the price of Milo goes up, and the quantity demanded of our Richoku also goes up, that one also means something. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. Now listen to me carefully. Now, we are saying that sometimes when prices of the other commodity goes up, when price of Milo goes up, and the quantity demanded of our rich goes down look at it when the price of milo goes up and the quantity demanded of free choco comes down it means that these commodities have something in common i don't know whether you are getting it look at behind the scene behind the scene this is how it looks like but we don't write it look at the behind the scene i want you to understand behind the scene and then from there i come here look at behind the scene when the price of Milo goes up, quantity demanded of Milo will go down per the law of demand. Per the law of demand. I hope it makes sense. But the reason why we don't write this aspect is that we are talking about prices of other related commodities. We are not talking about own price. We are not talking about own price. And that is why we ignore this. But we write quantity demanded of Ritoku. I hope it makes sense. We don't write this one in the sense that we are talking about other related commodity. If it is other, then we are not supposed to bring quantity of Milo. We are supposed to look at the price of Milo against the quantity of Ritoku. So that we see the price of other related commodity. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So we are saying that if if the price of milo goes up and the quantity demanded of our commodity comes down, then we can say that there is a complementary relationship between these commodities. They are complement. Why are they complement? That is, they are used together. They are joint commodity, complementary good, or a, they are comp, they are complementing each other. And look at the explanation. Look at it carefully. Now, when Milo goes up, Milo, when the price of Milo goes up, when the price of Milo, when the price of Milo goes up, quantity demanded. Of Milo will come down. And when quantity demanded of Milo comes down, quantity demanded of Richoko also comes down. It means that we use these two commodities together. That is why when this one is coming down, this one also is coming down. If people are not buying tooth, uh, uh, toothpaste, they are not going to buy brass. I hope you are getting it. If people are not buying cars, they are not going to buy fuel. I hope you are getting it. So we are saying that they are complementary goods or they are complementing each other. So when price of a commodity, when 
the price of milo goes up and the quantity demanded of ritual comes down then it means that they are complementing each other i hope it makes sense now look at this one when the price of milo goes up quantity demanded of ritual also goes up look at behind the scene behind the scene this is how it looks like when the price of milo goes up quantity demanded of milo comes down by the law of demand this is how it is supposed to be right but remember that we are not referring to oil price we are referring to other related commodity so our focus is on the quantity demanded of reachable we are saying that that one also will go up from here from here now if the quantity demanded of this one is coming down whilst this one is going up then it means that they are substitute because when the price increase here consumers have left here and they are consuming this consumers have left this one this commodity milo and they are consuming ritual so we said that they are substitute so they are substituting each other i hope it makes sense so substitute is this one when price goes up the quantity of the other commodity also goes up i hope it makes sense nice one so we can conclude by saying that this one is com this one is complementary complementary good and this one is substitute substitute i hope it makes sense nice one now how do you understood this one look at this critical point this point is very important now look at the arrow this arrow is going up and this one is coming down can you agree with me that they have a negative relationship yes they have a negative relation please put this thing at the back of your mind you meet it you will meet it somewhere put it at the back of your mind you will meet it you will just let meet it put it at the back of your mind first quiz university of cape coast ucc last year their first quiz this in cape that last year that is the year 2019 year 2019 2020 academic year 2019 2020 it dropped their first quiz good now this part we consider price is going up and quantity also is going up so there is a positive relationship positive relationship between them put it at the back of your mind it is very very important so if you are defining or if you are explaining some of the factors that affect demand and you reach prices of other related commodities this is how you have to explain it explain price of other related commodity for it to fair suit complementary goods two for it to suit substitutes i hope it makes sense so your definition must include this and also must include this so one of the factors is price of other related commodities i have explained it to you now the next one is the income of consumers i told you that i'm explaining only two because these two are the most technical aspects income income of consumers now we use either y or m to represent income i hope it makes sense now sometimes you are saying that there are some this one i'm going to make it so short there are some commodities there are some commodities you consume them 
when when you, there are some commodities there are some commodities when your income goes up then that will tend to consume them then that will tend to consume them so you consume them when your income goes up and there are some commodities when your income goes up you don't consume them I hope it makes sense so they are saying that this one when your income goes up and you consume more you call it normal goods and when your income goes up and you consume less we call it inferior you are looking down on it that's why when your income is going up you are consuming less you are looking down on this commodity I hope it makes sense I like that so the normal goods you are saying that they have positive relationship and the inferior goods also has negative relationship I hope it makes sense so that is how it is so once again my name is possible possible series is in the system possible principles of microeconomics and then communicative studies make it your priority to get a copy for yourself so that you can pass your quiz and your exams with ease once again my name is possible bye bye